hey, y'all, thank y'all so much for your, your well wishes and birthday greetings. I appreciate it. But I want to talk about can we, this intersection of grief and celebration, because that's where I've been. I had this whole plan, this whole rollout to like bless my tribe and pour into value leading up to my 40th birthday. But in celebrating my mom's 70th birthday, my grandma passed. And in that passing, having to navigate the emotions of missing my dad right after I feel like, all right, I got my stride back after his passing as we go into the year three milestone this November. Then we had another passing within the family the week of the, my milestone birthday. So it's one of those of like, I'm no longer taking a hit and keep on ticking because I feel like our God is a God of emotions and he's given us emotions for a reason. And though I know I don't grieve like those, no hope, I need to make space to process what it is I'm feeling and why I'm feeling that and just sitting in it. And that has been good, but in that, my flow and trying to push out content in the midst of a block, that that grief block is real and you just can't. And so my niece actually asked me, like, what are you doing that? And I rattled off an answer to her. But in that, I, I really had to do a very, like, intro to self-assessment of, like, no, nah, you can't just... That's, that's not just... That is more than that. So in order to, like, sit and process that answer... Because I feel like our the generations behind us are definitely looking at how we handle this thing called life. And I don't want my answer to just be, one, a complicated one, but two, not just one that isn't a fully thought out one. And with looking on that, I literally looked at my process. And then there's someone, and I hope in sharing this that this is helping you, and looking at my process, really my answer to that is pray. Um, The first thing that I have to do is pray, and God has given me these emotions, so I know because he's given them to me because he has them, he also got me in them. And being transparent with him about how I'm feeling and getting that hope and the promises that he gives in the midst of that and the inspiration that he gives. So that laying it down at his feet process is my first aspect. But then too, leaning into my happy space. I'm a nerd. So I've honestly got back into, I haven't been finishing a lot of my mentorship assignments and pulling into my tribe and pushing out new learning and development and applications of that. And then flowing in that number three with new insight and information and new innovation that honestly has sprung forth. So I'm getting my flow back and I'm enjoying that. And it's not enough to just pray and get new information and writing it out, but actually doing something with it, which is the implementation. So my process of getting out of a block, whether it's a creative block, whether it's that grief block, is praying, leaning into my happy space, flowing and implementing and understanding and leaning into it's okay to pause and regroup, getting right back in the game. So... Hopefully that has helped someone, and hopefully you're having a great week, and I'll holla at y'all later.